I'm going to be showing you today how to uh, take the cover off and put it back on as well as adjusting the straps and all that on the Evenflow Tribute car seat. Okay, so first things first, we need to flip the chair onto its back and disconnect the straps. There's this little T connector here, slide each strap out of the little connector and out. Then they will just slide back through the back of the chair and disconnect. Then we need to disconnect um, this part here, which is pretty easy to do. If you have the chair flipped over, bring it up to you a little bit so you can see right here, there's this little metal piece. If you turn it sideways and feed it through there, it will fall right out. Now the next thing we want to do is um, disconnect the actual seat from the plastic. So there's a couple places. One is right down here. Hang on to these little plastic things. They just slide out, but they're going to come out in your washing machine otherwise. So it's easier just not to lose them and to take them out right at the beginning and set them on top of the washer or something. Then there's a couple more spots. There's a clip on each side there. And then there's a clip a little bit higher up, kind of where the head would be. And then there's two little elastic straps here and here. Now once you slide this out, you still have to get the straps the rest of the way out. Um, but in my opinion, it's easier once the seat itself is disconnected. So you can kind of pull it up a little bit, get your hand underneath there, pull it out, and pull it out again. I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you that the ease of adjusting straps, taking on and off the cover, how well it washes, is a couple of the reasons I love this chair. Um, it's incredibly light and narrow. Um, we've got three car seats in our car. You can watch my full video if you want to see the review, but it is an awesome, awesome car seat. So this whole thing, just one piece, uh, you can throw in the wash. I don't recommend drying it. You probably could, but um, yeah, just wash it on gentle and it turns out great. I'll show you how to put it back on after we get it washed. All right, so now that we got this washed, what we're Back to is these two little plastic pieces, which I go ahead and put in first. Uh, they're gonna come from the back, uh, so you put them in on the side that is not more good looking, uh, that's not gonna be showing. And they go in the back on both of those, and just kind of push through those holes. And then they're actually gonna curve over and then buckle in so it kind of does a double a double fold there and then we've got this piece of course that goes back in and the straps are still connected so first things first this is a great time if you want to to get a rag and wipe down or a vacuum and clean out i've already kind of done that uh, if you're a bad parent like me and you let your kids eat in the car it gets pretty messy in there uh, so the first thing is we want to put these straps back up through the bottom holes here, um, making sure that they're not twisted. So just feed that up through. And the chest strap and the one that hooks into the bottom harness, you just kind of have to rotate to get them to fit through. It's a pretty big hole, it's not too difficult. So that's one. The other one through as well. Now, if the straps do get twisted, it's actually one continuous strap that connects down here if you look at the bottom side. So if you can't figure out how or why it's twisted, you might have to go all the way back there and figure it out. Uh, but I've got both of those, not twisted. And then feed them through um, whichever level you want it at. I'm gonna put mine the very biggest one for our four-year-old. And 
And then there's two different spots where you can actually hook it back into that T. I'll show you in just a second. If you're on the very top one, I'm sure you'll want to use the longest one. I've got all these extra straps for the anchors in the way. Let me get these out of the way. Um, but you can actually, there's a loop at the very end, and then there's a loop here that you can also use if you don't need it to be quite so long, um, just depending on what size um, your child is and how much, how much length of strap you need. But I'm putting mine on the very end there. Make sure that the strap gets all the way around that corner there so that it's not gonna pull out. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put all of these back in. So the little elastic at the top goes around this little plastic lip. There's not really anywhere else it could go. It's pretty logical. And then you fold this around and the plastic clip snugs there and here. Again, you can't really go wrong. It's just make sure it gets around that lip there. And then this one on the bottom, again, so it comes in from behind, you're gonna fold it, and then it snaps into these holes right here. And this one is probably the hardest one to get on just because it is a little bit more of a stretch. It keeps everything taut there. And then the last thing you need to do, make sure the red button is facing towards you and slide this into, again, there's two different holes depending on how big your child is, which one you want to put it in. And make sure that it turns so that it's not going to pull back out. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, I'd love to get your comments, uh, thumbs up, like, subscribe below. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if there's any part that wasn't clear, I'll do my best to clarify it for you. Thanks for watching.